Yeah, come on! You gotta feel so! Yeah, come on! Duh, 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 duh. Oh, uh, hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobop1970. This is my review for a day. And today's review, ladies and dudes, well, my friends, it is that time again for an anime review, and I hope everybody is so darn happy for me that I'm finally going back to do more anime reviews! Yay! Hippie! Hippie! Hooray! Hippie! Hooray! Yeah, yeah, you know all that stuff. Yes, ladies and dudes, I want to let you know, Happy New Year, and we are finally here on 2016. And the good news is, ladies and dudes, we I am finally gonna go back and do more anime reviews. It's about time. I know everybody's waiting for me to do this, so let's go on ahead to my next anime review. So for my next anime review I really want to do for today is one of the most underrated animes of all time that came 12 years ago. Back at 2003, but then later on, a year later, uh, thanks to ADV Films, they decide to license this anime as, I think, it's hard for me to say, but yeah, a year, a year later, they decide to dub this anime. So anyway, for my next anime review, it is Peacemaker. I freaking love this anime to death, and I did see it, like, yeah, close to 11 years ago, if I remember right. I remember Kat, my sister Catherine uh, bought Volume 2, and uh, we watched it, and we enjoyed it. And, yeah, it came from ADV Films. Well, back when we still have ADV Films, but Sally, it's no longer here because it's a new type of anime dub now, but uh, hard for me to say. So anyway, without further ado, ladies and dudes, here is my anime review of Peacemaker. So let's get on to the main plot of the story. Well, I have nothing to say about the plot of the story. It's a story about a young 15-year-old boy named Tetsunosuke Ichimura who wants to join the group of the Shinsengumi so he can train, get stronger, and all that stuff so he can finally get his revenge on this one deadly samurai who had murdered his parents from the last two years ago. But sadly, he has to do a job of being Mr. Hijikata's page and all that stuff. And, yeah, Tetsunosuke Ichimura wants to find a way to get stronger, you know, become a great samurai, and, you know, learn so many things here and there to be a good member of the Shinsengumi. And that's all I could say about the main plot of the story of Peacemaker. And I guess everybody wants to know is, what the heck do I think about this anime called Peacemaker? Well, to tell you the truth is, well, thanks to my sister Catherine, she decided to give me the whole entire collection on my birthday. And I decided to watch all 24 episodes of Peacemaker. I love this anime to death, and I still love it now. I will say it's still a pretty good anime, even to this day. Yeah, this is one of the best. I love the storyline. I love the characters. I fell in love with the English dub. I love the character designs. Um, I really love the score. I love the opening and closing for this anime. I mean, I love this anime all the above, but sadly, it only has one little weak point that I will mention in my weakest point area. So anyway, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my strongest points and the weakest points of Peacemaker. Okay, for the strongest points I love about this anime is a tie. Just a tie between the English dub for the ADV films and one episode that I fell in love the most. Okay, let's head on to my strongest points. Okay, 
for the first strongest point I want to mention is the English dub. I fell in love with all the actors and actresses who worked so hard for this underrated anime of all time. Um, I love Lucy Christian as Tetsunosuke Ichimura. I love Vic Mignogna as Totsunosuke Ichimura. Um, I love Monica Rihal, Monica Rihal as Saya and Saizo. I love Rob Mungle as Hajime Saito. I love Jason Douglas as Sonosuke and Greg Aras as Shimpachi. I mean, all the actors and actresses, they did a really good job of playing their characters. And I cannot find one single flaw of which actor or actress who did a very horrible job to play a good character in an anime. So all of them did a very well done job. Every single one of them. And also, there's one episode I fell in love with the most in this Peacemaker anime. And my most favorite episode of all is called Poetry. I love poetry. It is such one of the most funniest episodes I have ever seen in anime history. I mean, it had a well done plot, it has great comedy, and I will say this is one of the best anime episodes that features a funny oh heck no moment. I mean, the best part about the plot of that episode is when poor Tetsu is being chased by Mr. Hijikata and Mr. Hijikata used a sword and he tried to find a way to get his collection of haiku back in, in, a, in his own time or I can't remember but it's a really funny episode. I love this episode to death so check out the episode called Poetry to believe it. It's really funny. It has a really excellent plot and it has so many good comedy moments here and there. This is one of the best episodes that features an oh heck no moment. That will it'll make you laugh big time. So for my strongest points for Peacemaker is the English dub and the episode called Poetry. Okay, now let's go on to this fun little weak point that I found with this anime is the most disappointing of all. There is one character who is freaking useless to the anime. And I wish that these creators, producers, the screenwriters, directors, whoever these people are, I wish they never add this character in this anime as this weirdo gay lord dude. A guy who's kind of like a clown or some ways, and he did nothing to introduce me to this anime. It's really tough for me to say, so I will say that Gaylord dude who has that psychic dude, he's the most useless character in the whole entire anime. And we only see him in like four or five episodes, if I remember right. I think it might be four. I can't remember how many he was in, in the Peacemaker anime. So, yeah, I wish that Gaylord should never have been featured in Peacemaker. He's definitely the weakest point of the whole entire anime. So, yeah, my biggest weak point of Peacemaker is definitely that Gaylord dude. And now, let's go on to the characters of this anime. And I will mention only three characters. Okay, the first character, the first anime character I want to mention is Saya, played by Monica Rehal. I freaking love Saya. She is such a sweetheart. She is definitely my favorite female character of all time, and truly one of the most underrated anime characters of all time. I will say she had a very understandable storyline. She has a great personality and attitude. And I do feel kind of sorry for her that she is one of these anime characters 
who cannot talk. I mean, seriously, she can't talk at all. All she could do is just write things down on somebody's finger, well, somebody's hand, or um, just write something down on the sand. You know, um, the only person who can understand her is Tetsu, because I really love the character development and chemistry between Tetsu and Saya. They had a really cute relationship. Oh, hard for me to say. So, I will say that Saya is a really good character, and yet a very underrated character for this anime. The second character I want to talk about is Tetsunosuke Ichimura, played by Lucy Christian. Oh yeah, I freaking love Tetsu. He is such a good character. He has a great storyline, he has a great personality and attitude, he's such a funny character. He is also a hot-headed character as well, and I understand that his true goal is to find that mysterious mass, sam mass samurai murderer who killed his parents. Yeah, he's gonna try really hard to get stronger and, you know, try to reach to his goal. I really love Tetsu. He is such a cool character, and he's just a great character overall. And now let's go on to the last and final character I want to talk about. And it's not Mr. Okita, but the one who, that he got in his hand. The last and final character I want to talk about is Saizo, the Angry Piggy. Oink, 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 oink. I love Saizo. Saizo is definitely the best character in the whole entire anime, in my own opinion. Now, this character is something. It has a funny storyline, it has a funny personality and attitude, but the biggest unknown question about this angry pig, why, is, why the heck is he so darn angry? I just don't get it. This is one mysterious part about Saizo I really love the best is, this pig is so darn angry. It's been angry all the time. You gotta be careful of this pig. It will... Please don't mess him up, ladies and dudes. This, this little pig will beat you up and, and tear you down, I guess. But I know it's just a little pig. <laughs> After all, it is so darn cute. I will say Saizo is truly the best character in the whole entire anime. I know it has a bit of... I know it doesn't have much of a role, but for me, I fell in love with this character to death, and this is the best character I have ever seen in anime history. Yeah, that's all I could say about that. And now, ladies and dudes, here's my final thoughts of Peacemaker. Overall, Peacemaker is definitely one of the best animes I have ever seen in my whole entire life. I will say it had a good storyline, has great characters set for one, it has great comedy, great action, great drama, it has a great score. score. I love the opening and closing of this anime, and all I could say, Peacemaker deserves to be one of the most underrated Gonzo animes of all time, and truly one of the most underrated anime series of all time, period. And yes, it's a story about the life of the Shinsengumi, but I know it's fictional, but who cares? So for my rating for 1 to 10 about Peacemaker, I decided to give this anime a really good score of 9 out of 10. Please check out this anime to believe it. If you haven't seen this anime, I I, I will say that Saizo will haunt you down and take you down for the count. So beware of this pig who's so darn angry. And there we go, ladies and dudes. That's my whole entire anime review of Peacemaker. I hope you enjoyed this anime review, and I'm sorry if I mess things up once again, but I... I promise to all of you, I will make things better in my later on videos to come. So, please join me next time on my next anime review to come, but I'm not sure what it is, but I will do more of it very, very soon. So, 
I'll see you guys later. Sayonara and Happy New Year!